it's it actually was from last year. So you know, by now these ought to be oh, y equals m x plus b. What is that? Of the intercept. And y minus y one equals m times x minus x one. Point slope. You should know those two lines. Yeah. I mean, that shouldn't be. Oh my gosh, I I don't know those. <laughs> All right, so if I tell you, if I tell you that I have a line that passes through this po these points, can you write the equation in slope intercept? What do I have to find first? Slope. So isn't slope 4 plus 2 over 2 minus 3, yeah. which is negative 6. So I can use the top point and say y plus 2 equals negative 6 x minus 3. y plus 2 equals negative 6x plus 18, y equals negative 6x plus 16. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. That, that equation, that problem involved three different things. Slope formula. Do you remember slope formula? It involved point slope form, and then we ended in slope intercept, right? But you sh you should have done this enough last year that it's like oh, easy. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So what if I tell you that you have a line that that passes through the point one negative 4 and is perpendicular to this line. What does perpendicular mean? With the slope. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, negative or reciprocal. Yeah. I couldn't hear negative. I want to make sure we got that. Oh, okay. So I need to find the slope of this line. Is this y equals 2x minus 8? So what is my slope of this is 2, so perpendicular is what? And how do I find the equation of the line? Which is what? Y minus y one. Why? No, tell me what it is with numbers. Oh, y plus four. Y plus four? Equals one half. So y equals negative one half x minus seven halves. I, I skipped a step in there, sorry, yeah. really. I'm struggling to get my clock is broke. You all know what parallel means about slope? The same. The same. Okay. So... I have a line that passes through the point 4, negative 6. And it is parallel to 2y equals negative 3x 
plus eight. What do I need to do? Solve for uh, y, is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Negative three halves x plus four. What is my slope of my new line? Negative three halves. So I have y plus six equals negative three halves x minus four. So y plus six equals negative three halves x plus six. Okay, I stopped right there because I want this line, the answer in standard form. But A and B can't be what? Oh, fractions. Yeah, never mind. I thought you were going to say negative. Oh, no, fractions. So, do I have 3 halves x plus y? Oh, plus y equals 0? Yes. 3x plus 2y equals zero. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. Um, and as Sammy reminded me, the A, which is in front of X, cannot be negative. All right? Can the Y be negative? Yes. That's equations of lines. Any questions on those? We're all good. We can all click right through those tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Now, symmetry. It's either X, Y, origin, or all of them, right? Yes. If you're unsure of this one, see if you can graph it. Can you tell by looking at a graph? First thing is, if I plug a negative x in for x, do I get the same answer? No. Then it's not y. If I plug negative y in for y, do I get the same answer, same problem? No. So it's not x. That's correct. And then very plug negative y and it's just negative y equals three x minus one. Yes, but it's not the same problem, so it's not symmetric. So there's just no symmetry. And the only way to write the only way for it to be origin is the both doesn't have to be both x axis and y axis and that's no. When I plug in a negative x and a negative y, do I get the same problem? No? So guess what? This has no symmetry. Okay, what if I give you this? What happens when I plug in a negative x? Do I get the exact same problem? So it's symmetric to the y. Plug in a negative y. Do I get the same problem? 
so it is symmetric to the x. When I plug in a negative x, negative y, do I get the same problem? Yeah. Guess what? It's origin. So it is x, y, and origin. Anybody know what that is if I graph it? No. It is a circle. Anytime you have x squared and y squared with no number in front of them, it's going to be a circle. Make sense? All right, what about this? You know, when I look at this, absolute value to me is one of the hardest ones to plug numbers in because I confuse myself when I do it. So I will graph this one. See what it looks like. If you have a calculator in front of you, um, num. Num. Is it e to the ABS? It's a mirror on both sides. Yeah. Then it's symmetric to the Y. So do we have to write down, like, that we plug it in, or can we just plug it in your calculator? You can plug it in your calculator. I want you to be able to figure out, take your brain and figure out, is it symmetric? So it's not What's the best way to figure it? What? It's not No. But the reason you need to kind of know the other is because this one is extremely difficult to plug in your calculator. You can, but it's difficult. So I was thinking about this. This is time set. Like, couldn't you just plug in uh, x minus y? No, because that'll just give you a line. I will just give you a line. Are we good with this? Yeah. All right. F of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 6x. What is f of negative x? Negative 2x cubed minus 6x. What is negative half of x. Okay, so what is the difference between negative f of x and f of negative x? f of negative x means everywhere there's an x, I put in a negative x. Okay. Negative f of x mean, means I go to my equ equation and multiply the entire equation by negative 1. So in this equation, it's going to be the same? It is. What? This is like the even and odd. Even and odd. Yeah. Are those two the same? Yes. Yeah. So, my question is, is my function even, odd, or neither? Thank you. 
if these two are the same, if these two are the same, it's odd. The bottom one and the original are the same, it's even. No, I'm sorry, the second one and the top one. I wrote them in a different order than I have them. Okay? If these two are the same, it's even. If these two are the same, it's odd. But, doesn't odd mean it's symmetric to the origin? Isn't that what odd means? So if you're kind of thinking, oh, I don't know, could I grab my original and see what it's symmetric to? See, the whole thing, part of what this class is teaching you is to figure out how to get an answer. Whether it's the way I showed you or the way you can figure out. Learn how to figure out how to get an answer. You're learning to be problem solvers. Is this method to new origin? Well, some are not yes and some are not a okay. okay. But it's, how do you know if it's like, it's like why is there Origin is opposite quadrants are mirror images. Oh, yeah. O, odd, origin, opposite. They all have O's. Are we good with that? All right. Let's do a piece. That is going to drive me nuts. Oh. There's a semi check knocked on Keatonville Hill, by the way. Blocking the entire highway. Yes, what it says. Well, if a semi jack knocked, that's not a very wide road. No, it's not. So it's it's got to have it. All right. Oh, what? Well, do you go down Keatonville Hill? Well, I ride at the top of Keatonville. So if it's backed up, then I'm not going to be able to get home. <laughs> Who knows by then? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Oh, I'm saying the party is Completely cleared. <laughs> I have to go home. I bet it is. That's a long time. Yeah, whether somebody's hurt or whatever makes yeah. sense too. Then they have to clear the semi off the road. And <laughs> okay, here's your problem. What is f of zero? Zero. What is f of negative 5? Negative 4? What is f of 6? 3? We all okay with do how to do those? Okay, now, same problem, let's graph it. Oh. oh, it's whenever you get like the number and you slip. And you slip. It's like the number. Yeah. Well, so I'm going to graph the first piece. X plus 1. Yes? Yeah. When X is negative 2, what is Y? And it is an open circle. Because plus one. Plus one. So pick another number for x. Negative four. 
And negative four, negative three. It can be expanded to negative two. It will, but I'll be a closed circle. Negative two minus, you know, a negative two in here, doesn't that give me negative one? Yeah, minus Yes, but I needed to know where it ended. Okay. You are correct if I was finding a value. Yeah. Wait, so, so why is it negative 1 on the y-axis? By going down. You said negative 4. So my first piece looks like this. And, and Chris, what you were saying was right when I want the closed circle, but I needed to find the end of that line. Negative two, negative two, and it goes all the way to Like that. And then beginning at six. And it is a closed circle. And they're all straight lines. Okay, I know, not straight. Uh huh. Every line in here is straight. Don't you remember she said that yeah. all lines are straight in math? <laughs> it's either a line or a curve. <laughs> Right? It's a horizontal line. Yeah, that's Understand why there's arrows? What are those arrows and why? Yeah. So we're all good with that? Yeah. All right. I swear, every time I look at that, I just out of habit look at the clock. Not a good thing to do. Find the different quotient. We are creatures of habit, Chandler. We are creatures of habit. Aren't we? Yes. Well, that's true. However, I have to watch the time to make sure I get everything done before you leave. Yeah. Right? Time, time was not created by society. The method of time we use was, but time was created by God. See, okay, the concept of life passing by, of things happening, is created by God. But that clock is a social construct designed to oppress us. It's designed to keep me on track in this class. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure I get everything done that has to be done. Yeah. 
Okay, that, then don't I have plus 6x plus 6h minus 3 plus x squared minus 6x plus 3 all over h? Right? Which is negative x squared, oops, minus 2xh minus h squared plus 6x plus 6h minus 3 plus x squared minus 6x plus 3. Okay, what well, we'll subtract out? x squared. What else? Three? Anything else? Six X. So I have negative two X H minus H squared plus six H over H. What can I factor out? H. Leaves me negative two X. Minus h plus 6, and the h is canceled. Y'all remember this? Yeah. It's good? Yeah. How are we doing so far? Good. I know we had a big gap in the middle of this. But most of what we did before it was lines, which was a review. So that's a good thing, that that wasn't all new stuff that you had to remember. And then f of x is x squared minus 3 and g of x is x plus 2. What is half of g of negative 2? I think because this went to zero, it was easy to put in. And she didn't write it down first. That's that's part of it. What is g of f of 7? Forty-eight is a big number. <laughs> That's true. I got. I'll give you that. No. Fifteen? Yes, Ken. What was this called? What was what? Fog and golf. What'd you say, 15? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the last thing on the test is using graphs like you did on Friday. Was using those graphs okay? So you know how to do it? That's what 